A Harvey producer is spreading the message to watch out for blister beetles, which can be deadly to horses. Cameron Brewer takes us through what happened as we lead local. Ted Krieger was making the rounds on his farm before spotting something unusual. I noticed my fence had been knocked down about 5 o'clock in the morning when I was going out to see my horses. But the problem was more serious than he realized. When I found my horses, they were laying on their sides, which isn't terribly unusual. But one of them was out and the other one was in. I thought they'd just gotten into the green grass and eaten too much grass. Krieger's horses, Spirit and Rue, were sick. Krieger called an event who told him blister beetles had infected his horses. There are over 200 species of them, and it doesn't take much. It only takes about four to six grams of some species to cause a toxicity in a horse. They typically show up in drier conditions. It was unexpected for him to find these intruders on the farm, and he is warning others how to identify them. They're not all black. They're not all red. They have a, b a bunch of different colors, and... There in North Dakota this year. So I found out the hard way by losing two horses. Spirit and Rue were a special breed, leaving behind sentimental memories. They were Montana Travelers, which is Missouri Foxtrotter, Morgan, Hamiltonian, Saddlebred, and Thoroughbred mixed to make a mountain savvy horse that's cattle um, smart. So now Ted is only left with Rocky the last horse to be found on his farm. He's my last uh, Montana traveler, and all three of the boys came from the same stud out in, out in uh, Haver, Montana. Dr. Kara Malk says there are certain symptoms you can look out for. Muscle twitching, so some muscle spasms going on is what, one of the first things you'll notice. They will sweat a lot. They will become agitated, stomping their feet. Reporting for KX News in Bismarck, I'm Cameron Brewer. According to the NDSU Extension Service, alfalfa and forage are preferred hosts for blister beetles, and they often move into canola or other field crops after farmers cut their alfalfa.